I wanted to do a review on this Bumble and Bumble a soft black hair powder. It says on the bottle that this is a dry cleanse and it leaves your hair with a matte black finish. Now I am obsessed with dry shampoo because I do not like to wash my hair that often because I do dye it and I do like to keep it healthy. So I'll probably wash my hair a couple times a week more obviously when I go for a run or go to the gym more often but lately I have been lazy and not really been doing that and just kind of substituting that with more hiking and walking a couple miles with my dogs. So. I have become obsessed again with more dry shampoos and I am trying more and more and I was passing by Sephora maybe two weeks ago and I saw this baby and I'm like oh my god this has to be amazing because it's bumble and bumble right this this ish is expensive this should be super 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 good so I picked it up and I was really really excited about it but I am not a fan of this. As you can see, I have dark hair, so usually the regular white powders don't work that well for me. I still like them because they do actually blend into my hair. I don't really have a huge problem with not blending into my hair. I feel like if you do, you're just using too much product and maybe you need to use the dry shampoos in two separate Kind of sections maybe one before you go to bed and then you can use a little bit more product in the morning when you wake up and that's kind of a quick solution for you but I wanted to try this soft black powdered one because I've never used a dark powder on my hair before and I thought oh that's super easy I won't have to blend it in as much blah 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 but I actually hate it <laughs> I hate it I hate it I hate it for one thing, I do not like this packaging. As you can see, this spray bottle top got so messy and it splatters everywhere. I actually got some on my shirt. It will wash out, but then it's like, okay, I can't wear my top that I'm gonna wear to work or what I'm gonna wear out that day until after I spray my hair because it may splatter all over the place. And two, it does end up splattering on like my bathroom counter or the door, whatever is behind me. And it can stain if you do not clean it quickly with warm water. And that's just kind of annoying. Why do I want to spend a couple minutes searching around my bathroom or this my beauty station, whatever, my makeup station, um, to see if this stuff left any residue. That's just kind of annoying. That defeats the purpose of something that is quick and easy. What I don't like in general about dark colored dry shampoo is that once you're working it into your hair, your hands become black. And that, in my opinion, is not okay. I think another thing to spend an extra second, I want something that's quick and easy and I don't have to worry so much about it. Also, because it leaves a tint in your hair, when you wash your hair, you will have the black color coming out in the shower, which is kind of annoying, but I guess not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Do I think this works? I do think it works. It still leaves your hair with a little bit of shine to it which is nice and but it is more matte than it normally would be if you didn't use the dry shampoo so that is okay another thing i do not like about this is it has a gross smell so i feel like it leaves your hair smelling gross you know if you have your boyfriend you know snuggling up close to you you don't want him to smell this disgusting dry shampoo the other dry shampoos i've used do have a nice scent to it so it does make your hair smell nice which is kind of what you want because the oils from your scalp and the roots of your hair smell disgusting so you want those absorbed and it is nice to have a very light scent to your hair so this retails for $36 and I purchased this at Sephora and for $36 I thought this would be a lot better I expected a lot more from a high-end brand like Bumble and Bumble. I would rather purchase a dry shampoo from the drugstore that works so much better. The Dove one I used to really like. I, It's hard to find that. I, the Tresemme one is a lot more accessible and I may end up going back to that. Just one that's not the volumizing formula. 
because I like that so much more than I liked this one. I've used this maybe three times and I'm so disappointed with it. So this will be going back to Sephora after this review. But I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on this because again, it is $36 and I don't want you guys wasting your money on this product. But with that said, there is a Bumble and Bumble hair dry shampoo powder that I do like and it, it comes in this teeny tiny bottle this was the travel size but this is the bumble and bumble pret a powder and it's equal it says it's equal parts dry shampoo style extender and volume in a pinch so this is a white powder I've seen some people try baby powder as dry shampoo and I actually purchased a small thing of baby powder and that was the worst idea ever. That did not work for my hair. It left it white. It just, it was a disaster. But I do like this powder and I like that it is a little bit more travel friendly than an aerosol can. So there's nothing left in this, but all you do is you just section off your hair. Oh, there is some left in this. Huh, there you go. And then you can just def and then you can just blend it into your hair. Just like that, and it's perfect. It really works, it does a great job, and I didn't feel like I had to go over it and over and over it in order for it to make it work. And I did like that it added a little bit of volume to my hair, which is always great because my hair has no volume whatsoever and is heavy. So I definitely recommend this product if you did want to get something from Bumble and Bumble. This small size retails for $12, and the bigger bottle, which is two ounces, this is 0.5 ounces, retail for $27 and this actually lasted me quite a long time maybe lasted me a month I would say just to be safe <laughs> so again do not purchase this I did not like it save your $36 and purchase the bigger one of this for $27 or a dry shampoo from the drugstore so that is the end of this review but please stay tuned so I can show you guys how I use this product in particular and pretty much how I use any dry shampoo when I put my hair up like this. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Since I have acne prone skin, I always sleep with my hair in a messy bun just like this and usually the night before I will always put a dry shampoo in so that'll kind of help work out any leftover oil so I don't have to spray as much product as I normally would if I didn't put the product in before. So I'm going to take my messy bun down, kind of shake out my hair a little bit probably see how oily it is but I always like to start out by brushing my hair and this is probably one of my favorite new brushes this is the wet brush but the shine version so this is actually called the shine brush so it has um, boar hair bristles in the middle of the plastic hair bristles so I'm just going to brush my hair out to make sure there aren't any knots Once I brush my hair, there are two ways you can approach it. You can start sectioning off your hair or you can just start spraying your hair with the dry shampoo. For the sake of this video, I will just start spraying this product all over my hair. I will always start with the top, so I like to part my hair to the side as you usually see in my pictures. I'm going to give this dry shampoo a really 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 good shake just be really careful with this because this will most likely end up splattering places if this does get on your shirt you just have to clean it up with warm water and soap I'm just gonna start sectioning off my hair in no real order and just spraying this See, it's already starting to a splatter on my finger and I absolutely hate that. And it can sometimes get on your face, so be careful. And always, for me, the most important thing is spraying the front part of my hair. So I try and go in small bursts. And then 
I'm just gonna start working my way underneath. I always sweat in the back of my neck. So usually what I'll do is once I've attacked the front of my hair, sectioned off the middle of my hair, and then I'll just start spraying it. This one I'll do smaller sections because my head really does sweat and I think that's kind of why I have oily hair. Okay. And then I'm going to do one last section right on the bottom. Wow, this totally got my table all dirty and it's already starting to leak. So now that my hair is sprayed, I will usually go ahead and do my makeup. I'll usually do this step right after I take a shower and wash my face and brush my teeth. I'll put the blow dry, blow dry shampoo, the dry shampoo in my hair and then I'll do the rest of my makeup and then get ready for work. And that's about 30-ish, mm, maybe more minutes. <laughs> and then I will take my fingers and gently rub this in. For me, the more you rub it in, the better. And this is kind of where that dark dry shampoo comes into play. Uh, if you don't want to rub this in as much, you can't really tell. And now my fingers have some black residue on them. Another reason why I hate this dark dry shampoo. Okay, once I feel like that is really worked into my scalp and the roots of my hair, I will go through and brush it again. And since my hair is going up in a bun, I'm going to start brushing my hair back. So usually with my buns, I like to create a tiny little poof at the top. So I am just going to start doing that teeny tiny section in the front of my head. And another great reason why I love this brush is because the boar hair bristles also act as a teasing comb, which I actually like better than a teasing comb because it kind of gives you a soft tease, but it works really well. Do tease one more section right behind them. right <laughs> and I'm just gonna brush out the front of this just a little bit and then I'm gonna start working that tease and kind of spreading it out so it's not so crazy crazy um, thick in one area and I usually like to smush the middle of that poop so it creates more volume in the front versus it just kind of being straight back. I'm just gonna bobby pin that in place. And I will always make it a little higher than what I normally wear it because when I pull everything else back into a bun, it kind of flattens out just a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to pull the rest of my hair up. I usually like to have two different hair elastics when I put my hair up in a bun. The first one I'll use is one that is a little newer and one that is tighter. And this I'll use to create my ponytail. And I'll only go around twice. I don't really have to go around three times because it is new so it's not stretched out as much. And then I will just kind of take the ends here that are close and just try and reel in this poof just a little bit. Again, kind of flattening as I go so it pushes more of that volume towards the front. And then the next elastic I like to use is one that is older and has been stretched out. I don't like my bun to be super, super, super tight because then I feel like it's tugging at my scalp close to my face and I feel like that kind of can cause um, dry skin and I just don't like to have a bun that is super, super, super tight. So I usually just twist my hair around and I 
kind of have to feel it as I go. If I feel like I have these extra little hairs, then I will pull them taut more around the bun like this. And then I'll just take my elastic, wrap it around twice and try and squeeze in as many loose hairs at the bottom of my bun as I can. And I usually just have to feel around if there are any loose hairs. And if there are any loose hairs that I feel, I'll just take a bobby pin. Oh, right here is one and I will just secure that to my head. And then I'll go back and work on this poof just a little more if I need to. The great part is since this poof is pretty much secure, I can take out these bobby pins if I need to and then just reshape my poof and secure the bobby pins back in. Alright, that's pretty good for now. And, and then for my last step, I'm going to go in with some hairspray. Right now my favorite is this Dove Style and Care Extra Hold hairspray. Obviously, I will just shake it. I usually like covering my ear because I don't like getting hairspray in my ear or on my earring. And I'm just going to do small spurts on the side. And I'm going to take my same brush and just gently pat down any of those flyaways and smooth out my hair. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll usually do a light dusting all over my head. Okay. And then I'll do a little bit on the back of my head and just kind of smooth out any of those little baby hairs and those in with the rest of my hair. All right, everybody, that's the end of this review slash hair tutorial. Um, you will definitely have to wash your hands with soap and water immediately after you finish your hair. You don't want this staining your hands, and it usually won't, but definitely check around your shirt or your work area where you are doing your hair and see if there are any um, spots left over from this a dry shampoo that can stain any porous surface. I hope this video was helpful for you. I am obsessed with dry shampoo as I said before so I will definitely be doing more mini review videos on dry shampoos that I encounter. I'm trying to try it all of the dry shampoos that I can find to find the perfect one. I haven't quite found it yet. My favorite was Tresemme Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I used to love that and then they changed their formula and now I absolutely hate it and I don't think it works. So I'm still on the search for the perfect dry shampoo and if you guys have found one, please let me know down below and I will be happy to try it. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye. Oh, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.